What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and we have a very exciting video for you today. It is our first ever PSA returns video. Um, just to set the scene, yesterday there was a PWCC auction and I think I bid on a hundred, over 130 cards and at the end of the day I picked up two for less than a hundred dollars. That's how hard to me, for myself, that's how high the prices are that I'm unable to, I'm struggling to adjust to these new price points. And, uh, but that's okay. You know, I've been picking up raw cards for like the past three plus years. So I have all these cards to grade and we finally got two of them in. Uh, another thing about PWCC is it gives us a very good idea of what these cards might be worth because both of them were actually just sold just last night. So without further ado, Actually, I just have to check one thing. All right, without further ado, let's look at our first card. Let's just take a look. Uh, there is some edge wear up here. Um, you know, this card wasn't in great condition, uh, but it is, you know, it's not the Holy Grail, I suppose. I don't really want to get into the debate of what the Holy Grail of Pokemon cards is, but let's just say, I think it's safe to say this is uh, one of the mo most desirable cards in the hobby. If uh, when it comes to having a Zard collection, this is a must have. Without further ado, here we go. We have, boom, a first edition They Set Charizard. Um, yeah, first They Set Shadows, but like, yeah, first all first edition are Shadows for English. So there we go. Um, if we can get it in the right angle, we do see like a scratch here. There's significant edge wear on the back which give this a grade of a excellent five. Um, pretty low, I don't have too many fives, but this is definitely one card I am happy just to have it graded and in my collection. And as far as that uh, PWCC auction that as of posting this video just ended last night, this thing sold for just shy of $6,000. So really excited to have that in my collection um as far as my grading experience um i have i don't know like 400 cards to the psa these actually got processed really quick because i had to pay like a much higher tier um so i sent these in like these was the last cards i sent in and i already got them back compared to cards that will probably be there for quite a while longer all right let's go into the second card once again um very uh a staple in any uh, Charizard collection and it is <laughs> it's another Charizard first edition uh, this one I think is a little bit better a little bit less edge wear but definitely still significant uh, especially on this side you know especially when you can see it uh, in the casing you know that means pretty uh, a good amount there and as far as the grade for this one it is a excellent to mint six um, when I sent this in, like, I, I feel like it's a fair grade. Uh, I was like, just hoping like, all right, I wonder if I can squeak out a seven. That would be so, so sick. But um, yeah, the six makes sense. And I'm uh, not gonna, like, I'm totally fine with that. And as far as how this did yesterday, one sold for a whopping $6,700. These prices are only going up. And uh, kind of like what I was talking before about like the change in prices and how I'm struggling to deal with it. There, there's a flip side to this, right? All the stuff I already have in my collection that we're currently getting graded, it's like, hey, the prices are going up, sweet. I have a bunch of these cards, or now, or yeah, they just got added to my collection. So if I even I can't continue to buy new cards, new graded cards, let me just get my existing ones graded, and the value is continuing to skyrocket. Uh, feels like you know just record prices non-stop every single few days. So really happy to add these two to my collection, and uh, just oh. I do have this ETB here for a reason. So, in case you didn't know, we've been offering um, for our Patreon page, check the link down below, uh, ETB breaks for Champions Path for the low price of $40 for VIP patrons. Uh, I'm not aware of a, maybe there's maybe there's like a better deal out there, but I'm not aware of it. Uh, and I think one thing I'm gonna additionally do is, whenever we do CP, Champions Path, if if you know the patron doesn't get anything too exciting if they have like a really rough pull ratio um you know like for if they open like an etb and it's you know only like two hits and you know no texture cards or even if there is it's not a very good one well i'll basically create this thing called uh i'll call it the redemption stack where um i'll ask them ahead of time where all right if if things don't go according to plan you know i'll have a stack of packs 
basically what this what this will become and you know I can either open it for the break or I can just send it to you so you can try to get that redemption yourself and have the pleasure of opening breaking open uh, one or two packs additionally so but I did want to just take out the promo just see if we can get lucky and find a good condition promo but the redemption stack is alive ironically I only have ETBs at the moment uh, my other pre-orders are still on route so I figured we'll just open it so we have it available let me just grab this pair of scissors maybe this will be a good candidate to send to PSA seems like there are some significant quality issues on these promos last I checked on TCG player these guys are going for like 20 bucks so definitely another great way to if the packs don't roll your way uh, you still get a little bit back via the promo and let's see the top looks really good this side not bad I feel like the centering is not perfect but this might be the best promo I've seen so far at least in from our breaks and stuff so all right this is a good candidate for PSA uh, but more importantly uh, we have this stack of packs for our redemption pile. So if things don't go perfectly, things don't go great, we'll have this for you as well. Check out the link down below if you do want to sign up. Again, ETB is $40 a pop. So that's going to be it for me today. The big news. Yeah, we got some Charizards in. The PSA cards, like I submitted um, three months ago, they're starting to come back. So we'll have more PSA. I'm hoping to make this like a weekly thing. I don't think I'll be able to, but... Every few weeks, we'll have another PSA uh, video for PSA returns. I'm really excited. Uh, I would say this is kind of like the, you know, my biggest passion for this hobby is in the collecting side. Yeah, I actually love cracking packs. I love playing uh, the competitive side, but this is where it all began for me. This is definitely my favorite part of this hobby. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe for future content. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.